Welcome back to Alberta Angling. We're uh, kind of caught in between seasons right now. The new season has begun for 2024, but the open water is closed. <laughs> so what do you do when this time of year? You hit the river. Um, the NSR is close to where we live. Um, people love it because it's nice and muddy and really hard to fish sometimes, but uh, we've kind of, we've looked for a few places over the years. Um, ask for permission, that's the biggest thing I could say when uh, when you are finding places because there are people that do own the, the land that goes down. So if you're in that kind of situation, do ask and um, most people are pretty reasonable when you do when you do actually are out front with that kind of stuff. Nonetheless, we're going to head down there, um, try a few pickle rigs, sturgeon rig maybe. I don't know, it's earlier in the day, but um, just try our luck and hopefully get, to get a few fish, get them up on the bank and we'll see what we kind of land. It's a, it's a multi-species place, so we'll see what we get and hopefully we get something good. Stay tuned. So, what do we got here? <laughs> so we made it to uh, the fishing spot. This is the place that we usually come every year. Every year it kind of changes with the water level. Last time I was here, the water was like almost at the bank. I'd say a foot off the bank, that high. And it was rushing quite a bit from the ice melt. And it's about the same time of year. We just didn't get obviously as much uh, precipitation this year. So, uh, which is why we have so much warnings with our fires these year, uh, for the last couple of years, but this year especially as well. Uh, nonetheless, it's kind of like, you can see it's an eddy. So uh, the water kind of like hits this kind of this little ridge or this little bend here. And you can kind of see how the water is a little deeper. Uh, and you can kind of see in different areas where the water's shallow too. So usually in these kind of banks where the water digs out a little deep hole, the fish like to kind of sit there and wait for small, smaller little fish so they can ambush them. So hopefully we can get into a few. Um, yeah, we'll target everything because with the pickerel rig, you're kind of talking whatever bites, but the water does look clear. I'm very surprised for this time of year. So I'm guessing, I'm hoping that we might hook into a few more than usual. So let's see how we do. Hello, so, pickerel rigs. That's the ticket right there. <laughs> we got minnows, worms, Probably rock the uh, minnow on the top part of the pickle rig and worm on the bottom. Might hook into suckers. There's suckers here, right? That'd be awesome. I haven't caught a sucker on a hook, so. Because I want to get some suckers for bait. Is there a, a uh, master angler for sucker? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. There's got to be, no? How big of a weight do you think we need here? It's not crazy, but I think more weight is better because then you stick in a spot, right? but then you lose sensitivity. Yeah. So I got this deeper pro, it's like a portable fish finder. Um, basically just hook it up to the end of your rod and uh, syncs up with your phone. So it's a good tool to use when you're on the river to figure out the depth and just so you know what kind of uh, depth you're working with and what kind of uh, bottom structure. So just toss it out there and then uh, the depth will show up on your phone. Right here, we've got 8.9, 9.8, 10 feet. That's the only thing I don't know if you can see it out there. That's all right, I'll, I'm recording it here. So. Oh, okay. so it's 10 feet out where the the device is right there. So it's pretty good depth for river fishing. Um, so our pickle rigs will be sitting on the bottom, obviously, uh, with the minnow and the worm dangling there. So that's the approach. Stay tuned, hopefully we get some fish. Yeah, whenever you get a chance with the battery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. You think so? Just wait, if it comes back. Because, yeah, that would set off the bell. You know what I mean? Yeah. The bell won't be set off by the slow one, but it'll be set off by the high, fast one. <laughs> I 
Gonna be a lot of bell looking today. Yeah. Okay, I'll definitely feel a bite if it hits here. Nice job on the chair. <laughs> you didn't bring one? No. You got your uh, toggle box. Again. Yeah, I can sit on that. <laughs> yep, tick, 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 oh, tick. Oh, yeah. Still on? Yep, on. Nice. Bell on too, though. <laughs> Little, oh, I might have lost it. Shoot. Lost him? Yeah, I think so. Damn. Thought I had a hook set, though. Shoot. Wonder what he took. He took the minnow. On the top or bottom? Bottom. Son of a. That was a good take, too. Mm -hmm. I thought I had, it must have been a moon eye, though. Could have been. Damn. Well, that's good, there's fish here. <laughs> you got two bites, man. Two bites. I don't get another one, I'm double minnowing this. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. Could be a false alarm. Oh. <laughs> got it? I think I hit it too hard. Definitely was a bite. Snaggage. Snag. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You on? I think so. Okay. Are you okay to film with the camera oh, there? Snag. Snagged. Snagged. Snag? Oh my god. I tangled this up myself, man. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm never gonna get out there. <laughs> well, enjoy fishing, buddy, because you're on your own. Don't got much content yet. <laughs> yeah. It's just Dylan getting tangled up and... <laughs> All right, we're ready. <laughs> you're fishing now? We're fishing. <laughs> Let's some bait. Oh wait, hooked my bag, so... Maybe a couple more seconds. <laughs> Oh. That's something? Nah. Oh. Nah. Yeah, yeah bite. Nice. I think so. Hold on. Maybe not. Ah. Uh, I think I did have a bite. Got one. That one? Yeah. Decent. Decent fish. Probably a moon eye, but. All right, first fish of the day. Finally. Here we go. Yeah, there's a fish there, I can see it. Let <laughs> <laughs> me get this bell off here for a second as I probably lose the fish. All right, there we go. Hoping for a moon eye here. Looks like it been hitting a lot of snags here for the last bit so it's finally nice to get something It'll be interesting to see in this muddy area here what we got what's it got what are we looking like at a little walleye. little walleye nice first walleye of the year <laughs> we got the boat flip from here or side flip oh that's she's muddy hey oh it's not enough drag <laughs> okay there we go oh is it a sauger this might be oh, a, it's Sauger. This is Sauger, man. This is a nice, nice. PB Sauger. Let's go. <laughs> wow, just like that. Just barely hooked. Right on the, on the edge of the mouth here. Let's see if I can just pop it out. Just using the minnow. Hit the minnow right off the top. Look at that. I think that's definitely a Sauger, right? Oh, yeah. Look at the... Uh... Yeah. It's got the nice spots on the top there. Yeah. Wow. Nice. That's a PV song. Do you want to measure them? <laughs> I bought my. Uh... Did you? Yeah, yeah we, let's quick, quickly do it and then we can toss them in there. Okay. Awesome. This is uh, my best first sauger, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's your only sauger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Was that a. 17 and a quarter. 17. Oh, and a half. 17 and a half inch sauger. First sauger I've ever caught. 
Nice. Makes it a PB, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it go. back in there. There you go, buddy. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We got one. We're on the board. Finally. <laughs> now to figure out how to feel the bite. <laughs> I did it with the bell, the bellman. You felt it? It's, or the, it's the... every time because, well, then I held it and then I felt like he hit it again. Okay. Because I didn't want to do the quick one and then just reeled into him. Okay. Yeah, so. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Sogage. That's a nice big... sogger. That's a sick sogger, man. 17 and a half inch saw. What is the is the thing for sogger? It's got to be 20. No? They don't get big, man. <laughs> That's the family record right there. <laughs> beat, I beat Rachel's soccer. Nice. <laughs> how did you? Oh, how did you get a bike here? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Come on. Whoa. Yep. That's a good. That's a good. good. That's a bit. <laughs> Come on. In the hole here. Finally got a bite. Oh, what is a gold eye? Looks like it, from what I saw. He smashed that, eh? He smashed it, buddy. <laughs> yeah. On know. the minnow too. On the minnow. This is my first. Oh. Drag him up here. <laughs> nice, decent this is size though. Big man. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't want to drop him. This is definitely a, a <laughs> master angler. Or you think so? They call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, get close up. Is it muddy? Oh yeah, he is nice, eh? Gold eye or moon eye? Uh, I, I can't remember the rule. Rear tip off the back. I don't know what it is. Something about. I this, wish it was just their eye. Something about this fin being behind the butt. Yes. Makes it a certain. I might. I don't know. My thing might be checking this. Just measure them quickly. Yeah, go ahead. That's okay. Just keep going. It's a nice fish, though, eh? Jeez. Decent size. Is it? What we got? Oh. 17. It's almost as big as the saga we got. 16 and a half. There's a. There yeah. Go. 16 and a half. Yeah. Nice. All right. That's on go. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, buddy. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got one. Man, he hammered that. He did. I thought it was huge. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> He's bleeding, eh? Yeah, did he swallow it? Is that why? Uh, for those that don't know, here's just a little update on what we're using. Standard pickerel rig that you could buy from Cabela's has the two swivels for those who don't use these or haven't had, are not familiar with them. The swivels just allow those to move around, have the bait kind of suspended off the bottom. And uh, we're using a rolling weight today. We tried the, uh, the pyramid style uh, weight as well, but those were getting snagged really quickly. Unless you want to find yourself actually snagged a ton. You can see on the actual weight, it's just been banging around because there's some rocks on the bottom there which imitate bites which can be very frustrating at times but at the same time um, it's an easy setup anyone can use this and it's pretty effective for the most part so uh, what we're going to try to do is just get out there we used to in the past we've put worms on the bottom um, because the worms seem to attract uh, like a different style of fish sometimes suckers sometimes burbot we've caught burbot out of this spot as well in the past but uh, right now We've had a sauger and a uh, and the uh, and a moon eye slash gold eye, so we're gonna try to continue on with just trying to target that kind of walleye predatory species and uh, hopefully get one more before we have to head out. So wish us luck. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, you gotta go on there. Oh. <laughs> is that rocks or is that fish? Oh. What is that? I feel like it just got took. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah. Oh, nice. There we go. That looks like a take. Nice. Did it, buddy. Nice. <laughs> just as I have to leave, hook into another one. Oh, a little guy. <laughs> what is it? Is it a song or a walleye? I know here. here. It looks like walleye from here. It looks really small. Nice. Is that a walleye? Yeah, I like I how pale so. they are, right? <laughs> this yeah. time here. Such a subtle bite. That's gonna wrap up my day. Are you continuing to fishing or are you done too? Oh, that's good. Are you continuing to fish or <laughs> yeah, are you yeah. just gonna watch me? So let me try getting one hooked here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stop fishing, you can continue. <laughs> here we go, wrapping it up on this tiny walleye from the North Saskatchewan River, all flared up. Three fish on the day, not too bad for a couple hours. Just good to be back out there and getting the lines wet but yeah maybe we'll try it again uh it took us a while to just kind of figure things out but uh it's it, the trick is feeling that bite i only got my two fish when i was actually holding the rod but anyways that was my my tip of the day <laughs> right on <laughs> all right so that's gonna wrap up our day we're only out here for a couple hours just to try to catch that midday bite which is non-existent usually but <laughs> Unless we were able to get a few fish, um, get out for the first time of the 2024 season. So it's a great day to be out here. Uh, yeah, what else can I say? It's great. It's just, just great to get out and enjoy the sun. Even if you don't catch a fish, it's awesome. So go out there and try it yourselves. And uh, stay tuned next. We might go out one more time, or it might be time to get on the lake. So thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you guys on the next one.